We were very fortunate that Tanner had kept some journals through his life and that those journals were actually kept in the archives of American art. We were able to go and actually look into the files and in his own handwriting, look at the recipes that he recorded. And this is very unique because artists don't always document their methods. But Tanner was obviously experimenting and as such was keeping track of the progression of his recipes and what he was doing with them. Now that being said, the recipes that we were able to look at are only from the 1930s. We could not find any documentation earlier than that other than on the actual back of paintings where he would write out what he was applying to the surface of that painting over a period of time. And a number of the paintings that are of the Good Shepherd actually show evidence of this. And we have also recorded history on the back of our Fisherman's Return where he actually inscribed on the back of the stretcher the different layers of materials that he added to it and when he added it to it. So it's interesting to see that an artist is recording it and then observing the surfaces and then adding more materials later on. And that's very unique to Tanner.